recently I done some countertop templating um, and uh, this was a project uh, this is a drawing that I received from a customer and they're doing this countertop uh, that they're going on three sides of the wall so they wanted to, me to go there and template it and make sure that it was something that they you know basically we're just going to take the template that I took and import it into the CNC machine so that we can cut the countertops to fit the wall so there'll be no scribing uh, needed it'll just literally fit into place this was the the template file of what I did so uh, I'm going to move this guy off and just drop one of these guys in. So this is the room I scanned. Um, I actually scanned it. It's in a reverse orientation here. So uh, if I pull this over, you can see here's a little notch in the wall. Here's a little notch down here. I, I went a little crazy with the scan. I scanned about every two inches. Um, and, I, and the way these files come in, they have many layers um, to them. So you can actually go in and can turn off these layers. So I'm just going to turn off the ID points, which is where it actually took the point. I'm going to turn off uh, or the name of the points. I'm going to turn off the, the actual points. And you'll see we're just left with this, uh, with this wall, basically. Um, and this part here, it was just where it connected. Uh, and this was my XY that I started. So, you know, in CAD, I'm, I can just go through and start um, changing this stuff. But what you'll notice is uh, I'm going to just copy this over here. And then I can turn on all these layers again. But what happens is when you're scanning, everything's in, in three dimensions, right? So if I were to look at this from two different views, Uh, vertical horizontal. If I were to see it in, say, front elevation view, uh, you can see how this is kind of—it's pretty close, but it did vary. It did. There's some slight variation in X and, or sorry, in Z. Um, so what we can do in CAD, and this is this is why it's fairly straightforward. So there's a command in CAD called flatten. And uh, we can just grab all the geometry here, and then I can right click, and it's going to ask me if I want to get rid of the hidden lines. I'm going to say no, and it's going to take all those points, and you'll look now here, and it's one straight line because it just took all those points and flattened them. And now I can take this, and if I turn off the viewport that I just did, one viewport, I can take this and start editing this and start creating the walls. Now this is where actually the wall went back back this way. Um, I can start taking this and if I join these together, you know, I can, this guy looks like he was, sometimes AutoCAD likes it if you pull the point away and then join it back again. So now we're kind of going, working our way through. I'm going to just try hitting join again. Okay, looks like. So now we can take this, and here's the wall. Here's the wall line, and you can see it's kind of going in and out, right in the corners here. It's going in because of the mud joints. Uh, so it's accounting for all that stuff. But now I would take this, and I would redraw. Uh, let me snip it. Go. I'd redraw these countertops over top of it, where you know where I would take an offset to 25 inches, and then I would just take this this close polyline uh, and send it right to the CNC machine. Um, so it's pretty it's pretty powerful in that respect. Another thing that I've been using these for is um, this was a project that I went to New York City and I had to scan a um, I'm off screen here just trying to find some pictures that I can show you. I had to scan a um, oh here it is old closet and this is what it looked like so it was it's all kind of just studded out but the customer wanted me to scan it just so that I could get the actual uh, wall conditions and stuff like that so I scanned everything um, and this is the file that I got from it and then again I took this file and I cleaned it up I took some points off if I were to orbit this file you'll see that everything's kind of like uh, in X and Y and Z, um, 
this line here was a vertical plumb line, this line was a horizontal. Um, these lines up here, I was hitting points on the ceiling just so that I could get those. And then the lines on the floor, I was hitting those points as well. But if we look at it from the top, and then we isolate these guys, and we just take these out of the way, you can see very quickly how easy it is. Um, so if I'm just taking, these are my ceiling, my floor and ceiling lines, and then AutoCAD, I'm just going to hide them, how it's starting to create a floor plan. And then I was able to take this floor plan and create, um, and I'll just show you what I did in for my customers. Um, Sent. So, um, section detail. I think that was not the one I wanted. But, um, I sent them a PDF of, hey, look, this is the, this is what the walls look like. Let me just, if I should have this open. Create. Oh, you know what? I put it in a different folder. All right, here we go. So I did like a, I did like a field dimension report, I guess you'd call it. So I have a closet, and I took the framing. So with that scan, I was able to go through and, and generate this floor plan. And you can see in here, this dotted line is the framing that I actually dimensioned, and I offset for the 5-8 sheetrock, and I put dimensions to them. But what was kind of ironic and, and cool about this particular project was when I took when I finished the scan I came back here and I was able to pretty much straighten up these walls enough we were putting we're putting cabinets in here so um, things have to be pretty particular there is an angle on this wall that I had to capture um, but what happened was this wall I came in and it, it was crooked um, you know it's 90 91 and Three quarter degrees instead of ninety, and I said, "Well, geez, I hope I didn't make a mistake with the three D unit." Uh, and so I took this and I dimensioned it like this. I sent it to the customer and I said, "Hey, just so you know, this wall's coming in crooked. You might want to just double check it or double check that I didn't make a mistake." And I got a message back from the customer and said, "The guy checked it out and he his wall was wrong." So what's kind of cool is you know you're picking up the real world conditions. So you're telling if something is straight or square or plumb and all that kind of stuff and uh, and then from there you know I'm able to come up with this this floor plan is what we're we're working from to actually do the drawings um, and they have since corrected that wall and I went back and fixed it another cool story about that was I had set up targets um, on this wall uh, I think I have them someplace uh, no it's this one uh, I set up these targets on that wall and I went back three weeks later and I had to go back, oh geez, uh, and measure this wall. And I was able to hit three of those targets. And I just added it right to the same file that I created this from. So it was a little bit easier than me having to, you know, do some more work and and trying to refine where I was and stuff like that. So pretty cool stuff. Um, you know, it, it doesn't take that much to get this thing to to do what you need it to do. And for countertop templating and for um, you know, there's not really much better for it for just anything in general. Um, it's been it's been a pretty decent tool, and it's a very decent tool to use. So, if anybody's got any other questions, um, this can you share data via PDF? This is kind of a good answer to that question. This PDF is something that I made right from the right from the data that I gathered, and and I'm not you know I'm not a proponent of taking taking the data. Um, that you get, and someplace I have a CAD here. You know, I'm not a proponent of taking this data and just using it. Other, you know, I would take this and I would make a new new file from it. I'd change the name. You know, there's some cleanup things that are good to do, so that when you send it to the customer, you know, I took this, I cleaned it up, and I actually sent the customer. Um, what was it? Uh, Sixteen something here. Was um, I, I was one of these guys 1669? I sent the customer this, and so I put a wall around it. And uh, you know, it's the same information that we didn't get with the 3D Disto, uh, but I was able to send it to them, and it looked a little bit more presentable. So, um, 
and you know it makes sense. You know when you're looking at these points and you're going, you know what's going on with all these points in space, and then when you clean it up a little bit, it, it makes everybody a little bit happier. So if there's any other questions, I'd be more than happy to answer them. Or you guys, uh, we have our phone number I think out there. We can give us a call and talk more about it. <laughs>